Hey there everyone, welcome back to Film Screeny. Although the show 90 Day Fiancé has some pretty ugly fights, there are moments when you just find the whole thing amusing without any context. Today we shall count our top favorite funny moments on the show that weren't supposed to be funny. Without further ado, let's go back and look at 10 unintentionally hilarious moments on 90 Day Fiancé. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Also, if you love the show, then do drop a like to this video. Alright, now let's begin. Number 10. Water Splash When David called her daughter to meet with Annie, they decided to go for dinner. There, David had no idea that his angry daughter would not only embarrass him in front of Annie, but other people as well. She was so mad that before leaving, she threw water on her dad and stormed out. It was pretty funny because honestly, David was asking for it. Who abandons their children and then hopes for reconciliation by introducing their girlfriend? Number 9. Unbothered Chantel's family never liked Pedro despite the two of them being head over heels for each other. When Pedro's sister came over to visit him, Chantel gave her a tough time. She called her a bitch, and when Chantel confronted her, she plainly admitted that yes, she was a bitch. Pedro's sister was so unbothered about Chantel. Chantel was so mad that she didn't stop cursing at her until she was out of the frame. Number 8. We go bowling for kisses. David took Lana bowling. Before bowling his ball, he told Lana that he was very good at this. He asked her that if he manages to knock out all the pins, Lana will give him a kiss. David's ball took all the pins down, but to his dismay, one lone warrior stood firm. Lana laughed while David sank to the floor, crushed about his missed kiss. Number 7. A Memoir for Abroad When Paul decided to fly to Brazil to meet his match Karen, his mother was worried about him. She dearly loved Paul, but does that explain what she gave him? While Paul was loading his suitcase into the car, his mother came up to him to give her son a lock of hair. Yes, a lock of hair so that he can remember her. Okay, he wasn't going away for a lifetime, plus, why the hair? Number 6. Perfume Real Quick This was so funny. I mean, I've never seen anyone put that much perfume everywhere. Darcy was on a date, so she quickly snuck to the bathroom. She took out her perfume and sprayed it everywhere. Her body, her dress, her hair. God, she even put it under her dress, between her legs, everywhere. It was so quick. Is that what they mean by a quick freshen up in the bathroom? Number 5. Key to my house. Another time when Darcy was out with Tom and he pulled up a box, Darcy was expecting nothing less than a ring. You could tell the way she was breathing heavily and preparing herself for her big moment. But as soon as Tom opened the box, Darcy's face fell and she tried her best to smile. It was a key to his house rather than a ring. I mean, what are you playing at, Tom? It was funny though, the drama and the key. Number 4. You're a Specimen Although Mark and Nikki's relationship due to their large age gap was controversial, Mark never failed to make us laugh. That one time when Mark told us his morning routine, he was so giddy and smiley. He said, when I get out of bed, the first thing I say to myself is, you're a specimen. This made me laugh out too loud. He said it looking in the mirror, which made it ten times funnier. Number 3. Criminal Record So when Paul landed in Brazil, he was elated to meet Karen, although the lurking issue of his problematic past life made it hard to stay true to her. He later confessed to Karen that he had a criminal record which he wasn't proud of. Karen was as confused as anyone would be. But Paul panicked. He said he'd be back soon, but he ran away. He climbed up the wall and jumped away. Number 2. Marriage George and Anfisa were always pure entertainment for people. Whether it be Anfisa's silly tantrums or George's attempts to make her happy. Anfisa would never be happy with what George did for her, but at the same time, she wouldn't leave him. The couple eventually got married. When they were asked how they were liking it, George simply said he loved it, while Anfisa, with a straight face, said, I hate being married to George. Number 1. Bring me my red bag. As I said, you never knew what was going through Anfisa's mind. The couple decided to go out one night, but George remembered that he had forgotten his wallet. He got out of the car, which made Anfisa angry. She asked him why and then yelled at him, starting at a very normal tone to get her red bag with her makeup in it. 
When he asked for the key, she threw it at him and looked away. Now you can't tell me this doesn't top your list. Tell me you watched 90 Day Fiancé for love, and I won't believe you. I mean, it's all funny and entertaining, and there's hardly ever love there. Well, this brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't liked the video yet, it's never too late. Give it a thumbs up, people. We'll see you soon in another video.